Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to stop a Docker container. So let's clear this screen out real quick just to clean things up and let's just show you what's running here. We have two containers running here and let's say if we wanted to stop one of them. Docker stop. You can just say Docker stop and you can specify it by, let's try by name first. So you can specify the name, smelly hippo, Docker stop container name, just like that that will stop this container. All right, there we go. Now, if you check, you see we have this one is exited and the other container on our system is still up and running. So let's say if you wanted to stop our container by ID, you can also do that. And there we go. Now both of the containers are stopped. Now, if you wanted to start these back up, you could do the same thing. Just instead of stop, you'd say start. And now I actually did a whole other separate video on how to start a container, which included stopping and starting instructions. So this is a little bit redundant, but I wanted to do a, a video specifically on this, just, just to make sure I covered absolutely everything that um, anyone would possibly want to see. Anyways, um, let's start this up. Startup Smelly Hippo, and there we go. Now we have two running containers. They've both been started. So we stopped them and we started them. Now, what if you wanted to remove a container? So Docker RM to remove a container. And let's remove Vibrant Current. Now we can't because it's running. So this is one, one reason you might want to use stop. If you stop the container first, you'll then be able to remove it. So this is one one reason why stopping a container might be useful. Other, another reason is you might just want to stop a service for some time. So anyways, we've stopped that and now we can remove that container. So now we only have one container left. Now let's say if we want to remove this container but we don't feel like stopping it. Well, you don't have to stop it. You, you can still say, um, you can say docker rm dash f and just specify that name, smelly hippo, and paste that in there. Now the dash F means it will remove the container. It will force remove it. So it doesn't care if you've stopped it or not. It's just going to remove it. And there we go. All our containers are gone. So there you go. That's basically everything I wanted to show you about how to stop a container. And yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it for today. All right. So hopefully you found this video useful. And, um, you know, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Also, you want to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more videos like this. And we have a ton of other great tech related content. We cover a wide variety of things, everything from like Linux to servers, hardware, software, electronics, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, cryptocurrencies, um, you, know, you know, Linux, Windows, Mac OS, all sorts of great stuff you're not going to want to miss out on. Robots, um, programming, coding, all that sort of great stuff. Um, you know, anything DevOps or software developer related, a lot, lot of Linux stuff. So if you don't want to miss out on that stuff and you want your YouTube feed to be all that much better, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss, miss out on the, the great content we have coming up after this. You might want to also check out some of our existing content too. Also, hit the uh, little bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't let you know when we do come out with new videos and you don't want to miss out on those. And um, also leave a comment down below if you know something that I don't know or if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, anything you want to say, not just for me, but for the next person who watches this video, um, definitely leave a comment down below. And that is about it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.